Hello students, in today's video we are going to study pharmacology of drugs used for the treatment of hepatitis C. Now hepatitis C is a liver disease. It causes inflammation or swelling of the liver. Now hepatitis C is caused by infection due to hepatitis C virus in short HCV. Now hepatitis C virus is a RNA virus. Now in order to study pharmacology of uh, all the drugs that are used for the treatment of hepatitis C, it is essential to understand life cycle of hepatitis C virus. Uh, now look at this figure. Now this cell, this cell is a liver cell and this cell is called as a hepatocyte. Now this is hepatitis C virus, HCV, an RNA virus. Now viral RNA, uh, this viral RNA is enclosed in a capsid and the capsid is in turn uh, covered by an envelope. Now hep hepatitis C virus attaches itself to the hepatocyte. It uh, binds to the receptors present on the surface of hepat uh, hepatocyte and uh, thus the virus enters the cell by endocytosis. Now the virus sheds its uh, capsid and envelope and it gets uncoated and a single stranded viral RNA is released in the host cytoplasm. Now this viral RNA attaches itself to the host ribosome and by the process of translation viral polyprotein is produced. Now this viral polyprotein is a big protein as you can see here. It consists of different proteins that are joined to each other. Now these proteins are NS3 protein, NS4A protein, NS5A and NS5B protein. Now very important an enzyme uh, NS3, NS4A protease. This enzyme cuts this uh, polyprotein into, into individual active proteins as you can see here. Now NS3 and NS4A are structural and, pro, uh, structural and functional proteins of uh, hepatitis C virus. Uh, now these structural proteins they form uh, capsid and they form envelope of the progeny viruses. Then uh, NS5B is a RNA dependent RNA polymerase. It is, an it is an enzyme that is essential for uh, hepatitis C virus RNA replication. Then NS5A is also required for viral RNA replication. Now these are the replicated viral RNAs. Now structural and functional proteins along with uh, this uh, replicated uh, viral RNA uh, these are assembled in the Golgi body of the, uh, of the host cell to produce viral progenies. And these viral progenies are then released from the infected uh, liver cell. Now these viruses, they further infect other healthy liver cells. So this is the life cycle of uh, hepatitis C virus. Now let's understand mechanism of action of uh, different categories of uh, antiviral drugs used for the treatment of hepatitis C virus. Now first category of drugs are the drugs that inhibit NS3, NS4A protease enzyme. Now inhibition of this enzyme uh, prevents the separation of this uh, polyprotein into, into uh, individual active proteins. So if these active proteins are not produced then hepatitis C virus RNA replication and formation of viral progenies is prevented. Now second category of uh, drugs inhibit NS5A protein. Now this protein is essential for viral RNA replication. So inhibition of NS5A inhibits viral RNA replication. Uh, third category of drugs are NS5B inhibitors. NS5B as we know is RNA dependent RNA polymerase required 
for hepatitis C virus RNA replication. So inhibition of NS5B protein inhibits hepatitis C virus RNA replication. Now all these three categories of uh, drugs uh, namely NS3, NS4A protease inhibitors, then uh, NS5A and NS5B viral protein inhibitors. Uh, these are known as direct acting antivirals. Now, in addition to these direct acting antivirals, uh, drug Rivaverin and interferon alpha are also used for the treatment of hepatitis C. Uh, now look at this uh, uh, classification of uh, antiviral drugs that are used for the treatment of hepatitis C. Now there are three main categories of drugs. Uh, first are the directly acting antivirals, then ribavirin and uh, interferon alpha. Now directly direct acting antivirals are further divided into three subcategories. These uh, the first uh, uh, subcategory is uh, NS3, NS4A protease inhibitors. Uh, that include drugs like uh, Gleka Prever, then uh, Graso Prever, then uh, Perita Prever, uh, Simi Prever, then uh, Voxila Prever. Now, as you can see, all these drugs have Prever, P R E V I R, Prever in the end of their names. Then, uh, second type of uh, direct acting antivirals are NS5A replication inhibitors. And these include drugs like uh, uh, Daclatasvir, then Ledipasvir, then uh, Ombitasvir, then Albasvir, uh, Velpatasvir and uh, Pybrin uh, Tasvir. Now as you can see all these drugs they have uh, Asvir, uh, A-S-V-I-R, Asvir in the end of their names. And the third type of uh, direct acting antivirals are NS5B inhibitors and these include drugs like uh, Sophos Buver and uh, Desa Buver ending with Buver, B-U-V-I-R. So these are the direct acting antiviral drugs. Uh, then another uh, category of uh, drug is the ribavirin and besides ribavirin interferon alpha is also used for the treatment of hepatitis c now let's uh, discuss pharmacology of uh, each class of these drugs now first category of uh, direct acting antiviral drugs are uh, ns3 ns4a protease enzyme inhibitors uh, as already discussed these drugs inhibit um, ns3 ns4a protease enzyme and this prevents uh, cleavage or uh, the breakdown of hepatitis C virus polyprotein into individual active proteins. So, replication of uh, hepatitis C virus is blocked. Now, all direct acting antiviral drugs are well tolerated. Adverse effects of uh, these drugs include fatigue, nausea, rash and pruritus. Pruritus is itching. However, these drugs, they exhibit clinically significant drug interactions. So, these drugs should be administered very cautiously under the supervision of a physician with other drugs. Now, second category of uh, direct acting antiviral drugs are NS5A replication inhibitors. So, these drugs, they inhibit um, viral uh, NS5A phosphoprotein and inhibition of this protein inhibits hepatitis C virus RNA replication. Now, headache, fatigue, diarrhea and nausea are the uh, adverse effects produced by these drugs and these drugs also exhibit clinically significant drug interactions when combined with other drugs. Now, another class of uh, direct acting antivirals is the uh, NS5B inhibitors. Now, these drugs, they inhibit NS5B protein which is uh, RNA dependent RNA polymerase. So inhibition of this enzyme inhibits hepatitis C virus RNA replication. Now these drugs produce adverse effects like fatigue, headache, pruritus, nausea and insomnia. Now next drug is ribavirin. Now ribavirin is used for the treatment of refractory chronic hepatitis C. That is hepatitis C that does not respond to direct acting antiviral drugs or uh, recurrent uh, cases of hepatitis C. 
are treated with ribavirin. So, refractory chronic hepatitis C and recurrent cases of hepatitis C are treated with ribavirin. Now, ribavirin is used in combination with the pegylated interferon alpha or uh, direct acting antiviral drugs. Now, here uh, this uh, pegylated interferon alpha is interferon alpha that is complexed with polyethylene glycol. Now, this uh, pegylated interferon alpha produces sustained antiviral effects. Uh, now, let's understand mechanism of action of ribavirin. Ribavirin is a guanosine nucleoside analog. So, structure of ribavirin uh, resembles structure of guanosine nucleoside. Now, here we should know that uh, phosphorylated nucleoside becomes nucleotide. So, guanosine triphosphate is a nucleotide. Uh, guanosine triphosphate or GTP is a nucleotide that is required for building the RNA. Now, ribavirin, ribavirin monophosphate and ribavirin triphosphate, they inhibit synthesis of GTP. That means they inhibit synthesis of guanosine triphosphate. Now, and as we know that uh, GTP uh, or uh, guanosine triphosphate is a guanin nucleotide which is required for the synthesis of RNA. So, uh, ribavirin uh, by inhibiting the synthesis of GTP prevents the uh, replication of hepatitis C virus RNA. Mm, so, this is the mechanism of action of ribavirin. Now, adverse effects of uh, ribavirin are hemolytic anemia, bone marrow depression. Uh, it can also produce central nervous system and gastrointestinal symptoms and ribavirin is also teratogenic. So, it should not be given uh, to a pregnant woman. So, this is the pharmacology of uh, direct acting antiviral drugs and ribavirin. Now, another drug used for the treatment of uh, chronic hepatitis B and uh, chronic hepatitis C is the uh, pegylated interferon alpha. Now, pegylated interferon alpha is interferon alpha that is complexed with polyethylene glycol. Now, pegylated interferon alpha is absorbed slowly and it produces more sustained effect compared to interferon alpha alone. Now, let's understand mechanism of action. Now, interferon binds to specific cell surface receptors present on the uh, infected liver cells and they produce antiviral effects. Now, interferon alpha inhibits uh, viral protein synthesis uh, and they also promote breakdown of viral RNA and also increase expression of major histocompatibility complex class 1 molecules on the surface of infected liver cells. Now, increased expression of MHC class 1 molecules on the surface of infected liver cells causes their apoptosis, that is programmed cell death. So, death of infected liver cells prevent the spread of viral infection to other healthy liver cells. So, this is the mechanism of action of interferon alpha. Now, uh, interferon alpha produces adverse effects uh, like uh, flu-like uh, symptoms and other toxic effects are bone marrow uh, suppression. Then uh, central nervous system effects like depression and uh, depressive mood and seizures. Uh, it's also teratogenic and therefore contraindicated in pregnancy. So, this is the pharmacology of drugs uh, that are used in the treatment of hepatitis C. Please note, information provided in this video is only for academic purpose. For use of any of these drugs or for the treatment of hepatitis C, consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.